Hi, Sachin. This is for DRDO. Please start with introduction. Uh, my, my name is Sachin Singh, and I have done my schooling for, from Kendra Vidyalaya until introduced then, that is in New Delhi. And schooling was completed in 2015, after which I joined for Bachelor of Technology in Mechanical and Automation Engineering from Govind Pallabh, Govind Pallabh Pant, Government Engineering College that is affiliated to Guru Gobind Singh University in Delhi. The engineering got completed in 2019, and after that I started preparing for uh, government, government jobs. And here I am, sir. Ma'am. So you have done just your B.Tech, right? Yes, ma'am. Only bachelor's. Which year will pass out? In 2019. It's a long gap, right? What were you doing after that? Ma'am, after 2019, after completion of my engineering, I have to give a, a lending help to my parents for the financial condition in my home. So I was giving 2000. So I was giving tuition classes in 2019, and after that, uh, due to COVID in 2020, I have to I had to leave that, and I then I started preparing for government jobs, and I cleared to gate 2021, but I couldn't make it uh, to the final list anywhere. And in 2022, again I cleared gate. And I cleared the written exam Excel as well for the DRDO. So here I am because of that. So, uh, Sachin, why DRDO you are particularly choosing right now? Ma'am, first of all, I am in dire need of government job. And after that, DRDO is the, one of the most premier institute in our country, which directly serves the defense system of our country. So I think my potential and my abilities, abilities will be put to good use in here. And moreover, uh, it is the place where Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, oh sorry, our ex-president Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam has worked. So it will be a great opportunity for me to serve in such a great organization. No, uh, why you're in a dire need of government job? Why do you start the private sector? What's the reason? Uh, Ma'am, uh, there are two reasons. First of all, that uh, it is my father's uh, uh, retirement next month. and I myself want to join government job because in private sector I have seen there are many rough conditions going uh, going on every time, and my friends are also in government sector and they don't suggest me to go there. Sachin, uh, what's uh, your strength and weakness? My strength, uh, 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 strengths are some like uh, I can make a good use of resources that are uh, that are available to me for achieving the goal and weakness will be i am too emotional and i get i get too emotional over conditions of other people so what you are doing like it's not a bad one if you are empathizing someone for the needs of other person right so how you consider it as your weakness ma'am that's a weakness as a, sometimes you have to I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't prepared this thing, I will prepare it later. What's your hobbies? My ho hobbies are uh, singing and playing guitar, cycling and reading novels. See, Sachin, and you're not prepared for HR right now. To be very frank, you're not prepared, right? First is your introduction. That's not even refined one. Many things you're telling me after that. Mayne Freeland, as a tuition teacher, something you taught, right? So it should be, hi, good morning, ma'am, I am Sachin. I come from city, the centers. Coming to my academic curriculum, I've done my uh, schooling and my grad. You can say simply jump to your graduation. Schooling is not needed. It is not on scholarship or something. So coming to my academic curriculum, I've done my graduation from this industry university in the stream of this. In this stream, my area of strength or expertise lies in these, these two particular domains. And I've done multiple projects and the major project which I've done is this one, right? Apart from my academic curriculum, I have been into teaching profession. I have taught number of students as a freelancing or as a tuition teacher to for my financial stability or for, uh, while my profession was going on. And other than that, ma'am, I consider myself as an active participant in co-curricular activities, sports person, uh, something like that. Ki aap apni achievements se class mein batao. Clear? Abhi to sirf ek cheez bata de, jo CV mein likha hoga, or something like that, ki ha, graduation ka ki hai, schooling kab ki hai, so government job ki prepare kar raho. That's it. And do not, Modi ji, our prime, uh, this current prime minister, he's promoting privatization. And you are just uh, telling ki kyun, mereko pa sarkari nokri chahiye, sarkari chahiye. Reason hota hai bhai, koi government job ka. 
ठीक है कि मेरे को इकोनॉमी में कुछ हेल्प करना है इवन इफ इट इज लाइक यू हैव अ वेरी डायरेक्ट आंसर दैट आई वांट अ स्टेबिलिटी सिक्योरिटी इन माय फ्यूचर और समथिंग लाइक दैट यू कैन नॉट से इट वेरी स्ट्रेट मैम मेरे फ्रेंड्स ने बोला प्राइवेट जॉब में काम बहुत लेते हैं तो छोड़ दो मत करो यू कैन नॉट स्पीक सम थिंग्स विद सो मच ट्रांसपेरेंसी योर आंसर कैन बी मैम आई वांट टू बी इन अ डीआरडीओ इट इज अ रिप्यूटेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट्स नॉट कि मुझे मैम सरकारी जॉब चाहिए तो मैं आ गया हूं डीआरडीओ में बोलते ना कि व्हाई यू वांट जॉब मैम आई वांट मनी दैट इज व्हाई वांट जॉब डज एनीवन आंसर लाइक दैट नो वन right mm-hmm. so it is like ma'am drdo is a reputed organization i want to be contributing in some kind of a research organization for my knowledge and rich and first i want to uh, increase my knowledge and depth second is the government organization and uh, further lending to some of the things facts you can say is ki jo government organizations hoti hai na kyun government mein jana chahte ho and they they help in the bo- boosting of the economy of our country and indirectly way i want to help in that contribute in that chahe aap hi money le rahe ho aap hi sab kuch kar rahe ho but still That's a may you want to do something like that. But उससे भी ज़्यादा अच्छा तरीका ये होता है बोलने का कि मैम I want to be in a reputed or organ, prestigious organization where I'm into some kind of research work. My knowledge and depth would further increase uh, as I've got good technical skills as of now. But uh, obviously, if I'm into this platform, I would be uh, you can say doing a lot of work, different projects, and I'll be in a dynamic uh, culture and dynamic culture. Right? Who be prepared? Nee, ab jaise. के बाद स्ट्रेंथ और वीकनेस में आ जाता है सच एंड स्ट्रेंथ कैन बी लाइक योर गुड ओरेटर कम्युनिकेटर योर इंटेलिजेंट पर्सनालिटी योर सोशल यू मेक फ्रेंड्स वेरी इजीली योर प्रैक्टिकल पर्सन लॉजिकल थिंकर कीन लर्नर यू आर वेरी मच इनटू लर्निंग यू ट्राई टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू एवरी डे दैट यू हैव टू टेल मी दैट इज अ सब्जेक्ट ऑफ वन वीकनेस कैन बी मैम आई कैन नॉट से नो टू समवन आई एम आई कैन नॉट डेलीगेट माय वर्क वेरी इजीली आई रीचेक माय वर्क नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स मैम आई एम बिग टाइम फूडी आई टेक लॉट ऑफ जंक फूड एंड आई डू नॉट डू मच ऑफ द फिजिकल एक्सरसाइजेस or uh, ma'am i i i am very straight forward person sometimes i am very impolite and sometimes other person feel i am impolite though i'm not so that is your straight forwardness that can be your weakness so these weakness which are not harmful for the organization they can be harmful for yourself right and then it is uh, something related to your hobbies and all that that is how you are justifying your hobby agar koi sports mein hai to sports mein aapka follower kisko karte ho aap kya aisi qualities hai aap match koi cheeze pata hai क्या प्रिपेयर करके आओ लाइक मंडे को ले लो दोबारा से राइट थोड़ा सा गैप में प्रिपेयर करो और बाकी एचआर मेंटर से भी फीडबैक लो सबके फीडबैक से चेंज करो डन मैं मंडे को दोबारा शेड्यूल कर सकते हैं क्या मंडे ट्यूसडे या या व्हाट यू कैन स्केड्यूल इट एनी टाइम मंडे को कर लेना ट्यूसडे को कर लेना अप टू यू बट थोड़ा प्रिपेयर करके आओ ठीक है दैट इज अ बेनिफिट देन राइट ओके चलो ठीक है सच 